there, it's Rebecca here from Grove Knits. Uh, for those new viewers, I'm glad that you can come and join me. I use this podcast to just simply chat a bit about some of the knitting and crocheting that I've been working on over the last few weeks. Um, for those who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's great to actually see you back here. Um, and I look forward to any comments that you might leave. Please feel free to like and subscribe. So today I'm going to just run through some of the progress that I've made in the last two weeks, I think it is. I've realised that it's now mid to late October and we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. And I actually had planned last Christmas to do a whole heap of Christmas knitting. I wanted to actually knit up some great Christmas sweaters and bits and pieces for myself and my husband. Although as it were in Australia and it's often somewhere between 38 and 40 degrees centigrade on Christmas day, perhaps a Christmas sweater isn't the way to go, maybe more of a vest um, and definitely something in four ply slash fingering weight as opposed to a DK or worsted weight sweater. So now on to uh, finished objects. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've actually focused a lot on some Christmas gift knitting which will, I'm just grabbing them now, which will actually be a lot of cotton cloths. So whether or not they're dish cloths or face cloths will be up to the receiver. Um, I have done a lot more than this, but here's just some of them. Compared to the ones that I showed you previously, what I have changed is I've increased the number of stitches that I work through on the bias from 50 to 60. So I'm actually coming out to 60 now and that gives me essentially an 11 inch square. So I feel that this is actually a much better size for whether it be a face cloth or a dish cloth. Um, and so these are just in Bendigo Woolen Mills 100% cotton. So I'll link them down below here. So just an orange one, a khaki one, another multi, and a lovely bright yellow. I did mention previously that I've suddenly realized I've got a lot of brights in my color ranges. So I popped into the Woolen Mills and grabbed a white, and you see it's just uh, called Snow, that cotton. And I also have an Arctic in the Bendigo Woolen Mills cotton as well. But I still have I keep a, a bag in the lounge room by the chair with lots of other cotton scraps in there as well. So we'll see how these go. Um, I did also grab some, uh, it's a little bit of an off-white, it's called a parchment colour. Um, a nice taupe as well, just so I can start to get some uh, less bright cloths coming through. My intent will be just to wrap them in ribbon and maybe do say three in a gift set. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they're just fabulous, super fast knitting that I can just do absolutely anywhere. So that will be my plan for Christmas gift knits this year. Um, however, even though they are super fast, when you're suddenly realizing if you're talking three per person and you're multiplying that by 15 people, that's an incredibly large amount of knitting. That coupled with some of the stuff I need to finish off and the plan to do a couple of Christmas sweater slash vest slash something to wear on Christmas day that will be okay in ridiculously high temperatures that we get in Australia. Um, and I'm potentially not sure I'm gonna make my self-imposed completely arbitrary deadline, but we'll figure that through. So now on to the next bit. Now, last time when I finished the podcast, I mentioned that I was planning on that day casting on the beach stage shawl by Tracy Miller. I'll link that across here, <coughs> excuse me. I did. So these are the colors that I chose to go with. So this one here is by Happy Hank Co by Sai. I've mentioned her before. And the colorway. So the colorway of this one is opal. So that's that there, it's absolutely gorgeous. And that is knitting up, this obviously hasn't been blocked out, but that's this here, the opal. 
this is a Knitology in the pink. It has Stellina through it, as you can see. Got to say, not enjoying knitting with Stellina as much as I thought I would. I've got about perhaps five or six skeins of yarn in my sock box with Stellina in it. Um, and I've always been looking forward to knitting them up in a nice bright shawl. But the Stellina I'm finding quite rough to knit with. So I might reconsider that. And this is the main colourway that I'm using, which is called Calico Quilt. And it is beautiful. It's got a cashmere in it as well. It is lovely and soft to use. So my progress so far, which is the right side, wrong side, right side. So far I've, I'm at that. Obviously this isn't blocked yet, so it's not stretching out. But this is actually quite a nice, easy to memorize pattern to run through. So there we go. And that's how it's knitting up. So I'm quite happy with it. It's a nice, simple thing to have with me. Uh, the color changes are going well. So yeah, so it's really good. So thank you, Tracy Miller. So with my Beach Days uh, shawl that I'm knitting, I've just got some video I'm about to insert in here of me winding the balls. If you want to see the absolute drama that I go through with that, I unequivocally need to buy myself a new Swift. Um, the one that I've got, look, it works okay, but it was one of the cheapest and nastiest ones that I could get my hands on at the time. Now, having said that, I have had it for a long time, but without fail, every time I use it, the top part comes out and separates from the bottom. And if I get things spinning too fast, yarn gets hooked up and I have to stop regularly through the whole process and untangle things. So I think it might be time for me to actually invest in one of those nice wooden ones that I see around the block. It's not as though it's not gonna get used. Anyway, so here's a little bit of that video. Okay, so the next, uh, it's not a finished object, this is a work in progress. From a Christmas knitting standpoint, I'm also knitting the Tin Can Knits Flax Light sweater um, for my niece and my nephew. So for my nephew is a size six ch children um, and my niece is a size eight to nine. So for my nephew, I'm doing it in this colorway I showed my mother um, a choice of a few different colors and asked her which one that she thought David would prefer and which one Ariel would prefer. So she felt that David would prefer this green. So this is 100% wool, uh, machine washable. So I'm not gonna make their lives too difficult. This hasn't been blocked or washed or anything, so it's still a bit. So I've done the jumper, the whole body. Whoops, that's all right. So the body's done, the sleeves, one sleeve's done. You see we've got the purling down the outside of the sleeve. And I'm actually just on that second sleeve now. 
So I should get that second sleeve finished today and then cast on Ariel's jumper. So what I did do was get my sister-in-law to grab a sweater that they both currently wear and that she likes the fit of. And I got her to give me the measurement from the armpit to where she likes it to sit on the hip and from the armpit to the wrist. And that's what I'm knitting to. So, because they live in a different state, so I can't actually just quickly grab them myself and grab their measurements. Now, another cast on. Now, I am I feel I'm being quite generous saying this is actually a cast on because I think I've cast it on and done oh, three rows. But this is a nice Christmas colorway. And with this, I am knitting another Tracy Miller pattern because I'm just loving them now. Her lazy, is it lazy day or lazy, I think it's lazy Sunday socks. Um, I'll pop it across here though so you can see and pop a, pa a picture up so you can see the picture. But just in a Christmas colorway doing the lazy Sunday socks by Tracy Miller. But again, can't really call that a cast on because it's just a couple of rows. And that's in just a nice Christmas sock bag. Okay, so I did also guarantee I was going to cast on the Party of Five sweater by Knitterella. I haven't actually cast it on yet because I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with all the arbitrary decisions I've made for myself about Christmas knitting. But I have picked all the colours that I'm going to be doing it in. So I'm actually going to be knitting the bulk of the sweater in this lovely Bendigo Woolen Mills. It's a beautiful pink. So it's called Petal Pink. It's with Imperial yarn. So their Imperial yarn is 75% wool, 20% alpaca and 5% silk, as you can see there. So this will have a beautiful drape to it and a little bit of a halo. You can see a little bit of a halo there as well. All right. So I've got three balls of that. So these are 200 gram balls. Um, at that eight ply or DK weight, there's 400 meters of that. And these are so normally around $14 a ball is, is what these tend to cost. And now for my five colors, just let me hold these together. So these are the five colors I'm gonna be doing in the uh, top yoke. I wanted something with a real bright, so I've got this lovely Candyland orange fizz. Something to come with the pink as well, so this lovely lipstick rose. Something a little bit more muted, so this is just a lichen. And then just two others to, to actually just go with that there. So again, these are all Bendigo Woolen Mills yarns. It's my local yarn shop, so that tends to be what I use. I don't really have, there's not really any issues I have with it. Some of it, um, some of their, particularly the luxury range, which is particularly soft and uh, much better micron point, does tend to peel a little bit more than others. But as with all of, I mean, I just use a Gleamer, deals with the peeling. And at some stage the peeling stops anyway, so that's all okay. So for acquisitions, um, yes, I mentioned last time that I'm trying to stop buying yarn because I really have way too much. And to show you how much I actually can't fit this into my yarn storage at the moment, you can see it's knit picks. I need to not open some of these emails that I get. Knit picks had a big sale, I think it was 20% off. Or was it 30% off? Um, there are some of their, I got an email through of a particular percentage off and just happened to click and link through and then went down the rabbit hole. Um, I saw that there was uh, there were some bulk purchases that you could get with extra discounts as well. So I bought two packs of um, bulk sets of skeins of yarn. So it was seven skeins in a set and it worked out to be quite reasonable. So I'll just show you these. So, essentially I've got maybe three 
three sweater, three full sweater kind of quantities, at least perhaps four um, of some fade throughs. Um, but if I do obviously other stuff with it, then a lot more than that. So again, it's all knit picks. And it's all in the Hawthorn fingering. So this is called Jupiter Speckle. I'm actually really liking that orange, maroon and purple through that. Um, and I'm really loving, this seems to be quite a high twist yarn. So all this is sock, uh, sock weight yarn. So these are 80% superwash fine highland wool and 20% polyamide. Nitpicks Burling Game. Nitpicks Hawthorn Alameda. Nitpicks Hawthorn Mississippi. I think this one would make a beautiful scarf. I like the um, thought of doing uh, Hoagie Logatelli's. She's got a lovely single skein shawl at the moment. Nitpicks Hawthorne Vancouver. So that's lovely as well. Nitpicks Hawthorne Irvington. Some more blues. Nitpick Hawthorne's Spring Water. So it's a bit more muted than the Irvington. That's spring water. Nitpicks Hawthorne Brooklyn. So if I compare that to the Mississippi, the Mississippi, Mississippi is with the greens with the pink, whereas the Brooklyn is uh, the brown for the pink. Nitpicks Hawthorne, this is a kettle dyed, and this one is called Turkish Delight Kettle Dye. This is another kettle dye, this is called Compass Kettle Dye. Happy Valley. This is a hand painted one. This is Astoria Tonal Hand Paint. I think a lot of these will actually make some nice colorway pieces through some jumpers as well. And this is, I was about to say Blueberry Speckle, but I think it's Burberry, no, nope, Blueberry Speckle. So that's the 14 of those that came through. Um, they are just gorgeous. And I also have two of these little guys. These are lace weight. Now I don't tend to buy lace weight, but these are some lovely Malabrigo baby silk packer lace. So it's 70% baby alpaca, 30% silk. And I intend to do something lovely and summer weight shawl wise with this, but they are simply stunning. I said I got these because I don't have any lace weight yarn and I wanted to try and see if I can actually knit it. I feel that it may be a little bit I may find it a little bit frustrating. Um, I know that I need to use sharp needles with those and I struggle with sharp needles because I am rocking two massive calluses on the whole top part of my thumb has a massive callus on it, as does that part of my finger. You can see the callus there. And that is simply because I push my needles with my thumb and forefinger as I knit. It is just the way that I knit. 
Um, and when I get sharp, when I use my sharps, um, I tend to actually poke a hole in my finger and then have to have a few days where I go back to my wooden needles and can't use sharps, which is actually why I prefer wood needles because I don't get that issue. Um, I love my chow goos, absolutely adore them, but that's how I end up with these calluses and poking holes in my fingers. But I love the way that the yarn moves on my chow goos. So I need to try and figure that through. I know I need to use sharps with those, I want to knit with it. However, I probably need to figure out some sort of thimble. At the, at the moment when it gets uh, bagged and I poke holes in my thumb and finger, I tend just to pop a band-aid over it and just knit with a band-aid on. But I probably need to find a better solution. So thanks for sticking with me for those quick updates on the items that I've finished and working through. Um, for the remainder of today, I plan to finish uh, the sleeve on this little gift knit and hopefully get that soaked this evening and staked out so it can actually get into shape and I can have a good look at it. Um, and I would also like to at least cast on Ariel's Christmas sweater which is actually going to be in a denim blue. One sec, I'll just show you. I have to go find it. I just realized this was one of the other color choices, which is just a nice uh, taupe. However, my mother said that she would prefer the blue, but obviously what I've done is popped the taupe into a project bag and popped the blue away. So I need to go find the blue. It's a Bendigo Woolen Mills blue denim. So I'll actually, I'll just pop a photo up so you can actually have a on one of these sides so you can have a look at what the color will be it's just a lovely denim color actually it's the blue from my zweig sweater so i'll pop a picture of that up um, that's actually it's the leftover yarn from that that i'm going to knit her sweater in so you can see that so i hope you have a lovely next couple of weeks. i'm about to sit down and do some knitting and enjoy watching some rhinebeck youtube videos Today is the Sunday in Australia, which means it's the Saturday of Rhinebeck in the States. So I'm sure there'll be some videos currently being uploaded. So I'm going to enjoy watching some of those and knitting this afternoon. So that's the plan. So have a lovely next couple of weeks. Um, please, if you enjoyed it, the update, like the video, please subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye.